five. Our first stop involves Nant Mobility, an operating unit of Nant Works, and they look to further current innovations in micromobility. They see the efforts but know that more needs to be done to achieve unity between man and nature. The way they see it, micromobility is a significant key in that equation. Their inaugural answer is the Stator LE, which they claim to be the highest quality scooter on the market today. It will be available in the fall of 2021. Visually, it is striking and offers a unique look when compared to other scooters. That is a 50.8 inch wheelbase with 18 by 7.8 inch wheels for better security and overcoming terrain hurdles. The handlebar offers quick access to the brakes. It provides real-time feedback on the Stator electric scooter's speed, ride mode, and battery. The 54-volt DC lithium-ion battery has a max power of 1,000 watts. The charge time is a little steep at 6 hours, but the Stator LE has a fantastic range of 50 miles at a top speed of 30 miles per hour. It's streamlined, it's simple, it's Stator. It's so easy to use and so practical too. Fall cannot come quick enough. Four. Next up, we have a company specializing in electric bikes, but they support the electric movement at large. They even encourage customers to do their own research before purchasing. LunaCycle has a strong belief in offering top quality products at an affordable price. The Luna Apocalypse V3 scooter is one beauty and perfectly encapsulates their beliefs. This e-scooter has three power modes. Both modes above the first are no longer street legal as the Luna Apocalypse was designed for racing. With some modifications, you could make it street legal, however. Only weighing 75 pounds, it is capable of carrying 300 pounds. The 60-volt, 27-amp-hour battery cells put out 1,600 watt-hours for a sizable range that quickly reaches 30 miles, with top speeds over 35 miles per hour. The Luna Apocalypse accelerates hard and brakes hard with its dual hydraulic disc brakes and is made for experienced riders. It has impressive hill climbing torque and all-wheel drive. Fast, dependable, and solid. The Luna Apocalypse is an easy pickup and at an affordable price. Three. Now we move to Splatch, a Californian company that has earned some reputation in the past for their quality machines and excellent customer service. They have grown a little since then and they now offer a few more models and they are adding more in the future. Sometimes a superb product is all it takes for recognition and with the Turbo Plus and the Swift, it's no wonder why they made our number three. Both are available for pre-order. And if you don't want to wait, the Turbo and Ranger e-scooter models are available today. The Turbo Plus is a powerful electric scooter, as you may expect from the name. An 800-watt motor propels it to speeds of up to 26 miles per hour and up to a range of 28 to 33 miles. To compensate for speed on such a small machine, They've installed a premium adjustable suspension system that will absorb 87% of the shock for an ultra-smooth ride on or off the road. Front and back wheel brakes are located on the handlebars with a bell and dashboard. 
The Turbo Plus is also able to swiftly fold up for easy transport and storage. If you don't need all that power in your scooter, however, then perhaps the Swift is more your speed. Half the price of the Turbo Plus, and it still has what you need. The 36-volt, 250-watt rear-drive motor can still dish out a top speed of 18.6 miles per hour with a range of 18.6 miles. Not too shabby for those looking for a quick joyride or a means of travel from A to B. The streamlined frame has an integrated magnesium alloy molding for a light 34-pound micro-machine. You won't have to worry about night travel either, as the Swift has a headlight and ambient lights on both sides. Coming into our second place is Voro Motors. This company originated in Singapore and wants to see alternative transportation become mainstream. They hope to see their affordable electric scooters push that dream forward into reality. I think you'll howl in approval when you see the Wolf King, a fantastic alternative transportation method, whether you're traveling by day or under the light of the moon. This eye-catching e-scooter comes with either street or off-road tires, and with a VM motor that has a maximum output of 6,720 watts and an actual top speed of 60 miles per hour, you can easily shred the roadways. All that power, and the Wolf King still has a range of 50 miles. If you need a quick fill-up, the charge time sits at around 5 hours. It's not too hard to believe that the Wolf King is the first super scooter to set every performance record, and it did so with zero stem wobble. The frame is comprised of aluminum forged by 1,600 pounds of pressure. With full hydraulic brakes, you are able to control your speed with ease and safety. Paired with a hydraulic shock suspension usually found in motorcycles, you know the performance doesn't outmaneuver personal safety. Continuing with safety, the Wolf King also sports high beam headlights for easy nighttime travel and a motorcycle horn built to be heard. A rear tail light is here, as well as ambient undercarriage lighting. The Wolf King is genuinely the pack leader when it comes to electric scooters, and it would take something truly special to top it. Drum roll, please. With our finale, we knew we had to show you something special, something to wow you. We think the Scotsman is the one to do it. They use an advanced 3D printing process that allows them to build and customize the world's first 3D printed carbon fiber electric scooter. Named after the company, the Scotsman comes in three different flavors with five different colors, so you can find the right fit for you. They're all made of the same industrial-grade thermoplastic carbon fiber composite, and each Scotsman comes equipped with two regenerative disc brakes, a front-facing camera, integrated GPS, and 10-inch air-filled tube tires. Perhaps surprisingly, all three also have a max range of 74 miles. The differences between the three versions of the Scotsman become apparent when we look at power output. The Scotsman 500 weighs 40 pounds and has two 250-watt motors. A top speed of 19 miles per hour is nothing to scoff at, and the Scotsman 500 can tackle inclines of up to 25 degrees. The Scotsman 1000 also weighs 40 pounds, but instead it has two 500-watt motors with a top speed of 31 miles per hour. It can take on 25-degree inclines as well, 
with a max load of 350 pounds. The Scotsman 2000 weighs 44 pounds and, you guessed it, has two 1000 watt motors for a nearly daunting top speed of 45 miles per hour. The Scotsman 2000 can challenge even 40 degree inclines with a max load of 350 pounds. The Scotsman series brings a wow factor that is indisputable. So which of the three models pique your interest? Or is there another model on this list that interests you more? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear what you have to say. If you enjoyed this video, you could help us out by hitting the like button, subscribe, and keep up to date on future posts.